Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Uh, welcome back to the channel where we teach you how to grow your brand with organic search traffic. And in today's video, I'm going to show you um, what you can do to find emails after you have used finish um, your free tools. So essentially, it's how to find emails for free. So think of all the tools that you'll be using, say for example, you know, Hunter, um, you know, all the other email capturing tools. They give you free credits and after the free credits, you have to pay for them. So what can you do after you have used up all the free credits? I'm going to show you where you can find emails. Um, it's going to be more of a manual approach. I'm just doing this for one of the clients and I thought why not just share a video because I think um, for those of you that are just starting out, finding emails, you might not have the money or you know, resources to invest in you know, email capturing tools. So yeah, so let's just minimize me. Bring me to the side and then let me just hide this meeting. Okay, so this is a list that I'm currently doing for one of the clients. So I just want to give you a, a few examples. So basically after you use finish your free tools, like say for example, you know, um, Hunter or Snow or you um, get mails anywhere, I think. Yeah, but basically you want to exhaust all your free tools. So once you're, you run out of credits, this is what you can do. And I'm going to give you a system of where to look so that you don't you know, go all over the place and saves you a lot of time. So first of all, when you go to a website, right? So say for example, this is a page that I want to, that I want to outreach to. Okay. So what I'll do is first of all, okay, I will look at the about page to see whether do they have an about page. So in this case, let me just go here. And look so about us so they do have an about page i'm going to open up the about page okay and then um, i'm just gonna quickly control f and i'm gonna look for ad okay so it seems like there is some kind of emails here okay and then i'm gonna just zoom in obviously uh, that doesn't work yep here it is so let me just drag here Okay, so look, so here are the editorial um, emails. Okay, and what you can do is you can just pick um, whichever email that you want to outreach to. So for example, this is the editorial in chief, senior editor, senior editor. Okay, for my case, I just want to find whoever that did this and average. Okay, so let's see whether can I look for average over here. Average, average. Yeah, so this is this is it, right? So, okay. Uh, so all I do is just. Okay, I can't. Okay, I'm going to open up in uh, Hotmail. But what you can do is you can actually right click and then just click save email. But uh, okay, so this is the wrong one. Uh, yeah, this is the one. So copy and then save and then I'm going to just put average. Okay. So that's how you done. So I'm going to give you uh, a few more examples, right? So just use this system over here. So first of all, you go to the website's about page and then um, if you can't, if you can't find any details, go to the contact page. If you can't find any details, go to their, go to their Facebook page and then their YouTube page and finally um, their privacy policy page, okay? So I just wanna run through this and show you guys. So first of all, let's go, let's go see whether do they have an about page. Yeah, actually I've outreached to this. Yeah, I've gotten this. So let's go to this one. Okay, if you like uh, what you see, uh, give a thumbs up for the algorithm and whatnot. So, so this doesn't have an about page, right? So what you can see is um, there's also no, no contact page here. Okay. So no about page, no contact page, you move on to Facebook. So on Facebook, what you need to do is once you reach their Facebook, click on their about, usually they have their emails over here. So in this case, there isn't. So you go on to the next page, which is, which is uh, YouTube. So if you can see a YouTube channel, so they don't have a YouTube channel, it seems. Okay. 
Then what you want to do is you want to look out, look for their privacy policy. But in this case, I don't think there's a privacy policy. I'm just going to just type in. And one check you can do, it's very simple. Just go to Google and type in site colon and then just do privacy. Okay, and then you just want to look to see whether do they have a privacy policy page. It doesn't seem like they have it. Privacy policy. Yeah, so in this case, they don't have. So what you do now, right, is you just skip this. Okay, because if you're working with a large lease, right, you don't want to spend a lot of time just to find this one email. Okay, usually I would say 80% of the time, if you follow this format, you're going to find um, emails 80% of the time. So if you go through this uh, whole process and you can't find the email, what I would do is I would just suggest uh, you to skip it because one email is not really that big of a deal if you have a large list to work with. So let me just go through a few more to kind of show you um, the process a little bit more. So remember, go to the uh, about page. So let's see whether they have an about page. So it doesn't seem like they have an about page. Let me scroll down. Okay, you also want to kind of look at their footer. Look, so here, right? So there you have it. So just copy, paste it. And then um, there, email done. So this will not give you like the specific um, person that you're outreaching to. And the reason why is because with these, with Hunter, for example, right? With Hunter.io or with Snowf, what they do is they give you free credits, but uh, they give you a uh, limited amount of credits and you can find emails, but because of the limited amount, um, you're going to use that very quickly, right? For Hunter, it's just 50 emails. But with these 50 emails, you are able to find very targeted, um, personalized email, which means, you know, first name, last name, that kind of emails. But with this technique, so after you have exhausted, you know, your free credits, you can use this technique to find um, emails. You can still continue to find emails if you are still working on you know, your backlink campaigns, uh, prospecting, you're your finding leads to prospect to, and you've already exhausted all your credits. This will help you find emails, although it's not very targeted, but it's still a means uh, of finding an email for you to outreach to. Okay, so you're kind of just working within your resources over here. So look, so uh, I'm gonna continue this. Okay, go to the about page and see whether do they have any emails. Okay, if not, then um, what you will do is you will go to their contact page. Okay, and then look, so here's the contact page, copy, and paste, and then you move on to the next one. And really, this is if you are starting out with, you know, not much budget or you don't have budget to invest in tools because if you have budget to invest in tools, right? So this list that I have has over 400 plus emails. So even if I were to invest in a email hunter tool, it's going to use up a lot of my credit. So this is for people that really don't have a budget or you're struggling to work with a budget. Okay. And so this is not... Uh, working so i'm gonna delete this and i kind of just want to show you the privacy policy approach okay this is a, sort of like a hidden um, tactic that not a lot of people know where you can find email address in privacy policy okay so i'm gonna just gonna go through the same process so there, so there's no about page yep so about us contact us And so no emails here. Look, so so usually like when you use this process, right, you can find emails almost all the time. It's just like maybe 20 to 10% you can't find emails. But this is still going to be useful for your outreach because you still have an email to work with. And most of the time, the emails will be valid because it's listed here on their website. So look, so this process, although it's not very generic, but it still can give you emails for you to work with, okay? And I just want to show you one example of privacy policy. So for example, if you, ex if you um, go through all this and you still can't find an email, 
what you can do is you can take a look at your privacy policy. Okay, I'm gonna give you an example here. So let's see, you're gonna find your privacy policy. Um, okay, or the are terms and conditions. Okay, it looks like they don't have it. Um, let's see. Okay, it looks like they don't have it. Okay, I'm gonna, I wanna show you one example. Okay, because most of the time, you're gonna find emails within a, a website's privacy policy. And not all the time, but sometimes. And the reason why is because they wanna give people, you know, uh, any sort of contact information and they sometimes will list their emails up there. So in this case, they don't have it, the terms and terms of services. Let's see, do they have? And one way I like do it, just control F and I look for this ad. Oh yeah, look, so does it, right? So this is one way of finding emails. If you, if you look for the about page, contact page, their Facebook page and their YouTube page, and you can't find any emails, try to look for their privacy policy or their terms of services page. And that's kind of like the last resort, right? So here, so this email, just gonna copy and then just paste it. Okay, and one more thing I'd like to show you is uh, the YouTube approach. So let me go and see whether does this page have a YouTube. Okay, and uh, let's see. YouTube, YouTube, doesn't, doesn't seem like they look, doesn't seem like they have it. Um, so forums, I generally avoid forums. Then let's go take a look. Um, yeah, I really want to show you an example. Let me see where I can find a good example. Yeah, so here, YouTube, right? So when you go to YouTube, okay, go to their, their channel page and oh, they don't have it. Okay, so generally they will have an about here. Okay, so uh, uh, let me just see whether can I find one example to show you guys. Don't have it. Let's see. I don't think this have. Uh, YouTube? No. And the reason why I'm, I'm giving you these steps, right, is because it's um, the about page and the contact page have a higher chance of finding an email. So it's kind of like from a, um, the highest probability of finding an email to the, low, the, to the least probability of finding an email. Okay, so this is the reason why I gave you guys this order. Um, so let me see about, about, about. Um, okay, I'm just I'm just gonna go to YouTube and I'm just gonna look for like you know this. Okay, just want to show you guys an example. Okay, usually if you go to their channel and there's an about section, so you click the about section. Okay, and some like here right for business inquiries, view their email address. Okay, all you have to do is make sure that you're not a robot click submit and you can have their email address here. Okay, so this is one of the way um, to find email addresses quickly and for free. So that's all for the video. I hope you guys learned something new and use this for your outreaching, um, prospecting um, without spending any money. If you like this kind of videos, let me know in the comment section. And then until next time, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.